So a couple of Western Canadian kids, Kale McCarr, Matthew Barzell, tied atop the leaderboard heading into event number six with 11 points apiece. This is the last event to get yourself into the top eight. You see Miller, Matthews, Hughes, and Kucherov all on the outside, but all four are participating in the accuracy shooting. One of the most accurate shooters of all time is in the booth tonight. Let's once again join Chris and Craig. Yeah, 23.7, your shooting percentage. I know it's this competition a little bit different, but of course you need that same skill set. So what's the key? Well, the key here is it's so unlike anything you do in a game. You know, the, the brilliance of these players is their ability to read the goaltender's movement, know exactly where the hole is, have the, the net framed and be able to hit the open air. The difference here is we've seen already if you miss one early, it just gets right into right. your head. And, and how do you handle that when something goes wrong early on in your shooting? And so it is so unlike anything in the game because in the game, it's all about movement. It's all about reacting and it's all about your instincts. And here, suddenly you're standing still and there's 16,000 people and there's 2 million watching. And, and that can really play with the guys' minds. And you've seen it so many times where it's so difficult to handle. Well, that's one of the favorite events for a lot of people, the target practice and 10 different competitors. By the way, Kilbacar, I found interesting, he is the only player that was in the three traditional events, the fastest, the hardest, and now the accuracy for what that's worth. Let's check back in with Kevin Bixa. Well, you guys know I'm a little bit nosy, right? So I was just kind of poking around, and I went over and I touched the pucks. The pucks that they're using tonight, the NHL does a phenomenal job in, in these events, but the pucks aren't frozen, and that's ah. something that's different than a normal game. It's a different feel, and talking to J.T. Miller in the one passing drill, he's like, I was pulling everything. Maybe there was more... Maybe there's more friction. Maybe it throws off a little bit. But for the shots here, like, everything's so precise that the littlest thing could throw something off. That's what I got, guys. <laughs> Especially with the best in the business who will be helped out with some special passers for this competition. Toronto, are you ready? <laughs> Please welcome our special guest passers for the Cheetos NHL accuracy shooting. Two-time Olympic medalist and forward for BWHL Toronto, Sarah Nurse. Former NHL and Toronto Maple Leafs great, Steve Thomas. Two-time Olympic medalist and forward for BWHL Toronto, Blair Turnbull. And Selkie Trophy winner and former captain of your Toronto Maple Leafs, Doug Gilmore. Don't you love the fact that Dougie Gilmore has got his sweater tucked in <laughs> in his pants too? I mean, there's some things that you just get back on the ice and it's it's who you are. And if you think of watching Dougie play all throughout his career, I, I just love that. Much like the great one, he always had that sweater tucked right in. Well, the first off is off to a good start. Kucherov, he got a piece of that one too. Not sure they officially I don't think they got supposed started. to start, and I think he he got three out of four. Yeah, he got off to a terrific <laughs> terrific start, but like, I don't oh, think play man. was whistled in. That's been that kind of night for him. <laughs> I I think Dougie went to just pass him to say, yep. you know, how do you yep. want the pucks to yep. go? And all of a sudden he started shooting. <laughs> the, the guy that nothing has gone right for in this event just went three for three, <laughs> and it shouldn't have happened. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, Dougie's just saying, where do you <laughs> yep. want the pocket? He's like, oh, oh that's good. One. That yeah, that was good. The lights aren't even on. Nobody even ready to go. <laughs> that one actually did hit a piece of the corner too, so he had three for three. Oh, he's in a rhythm again. Yeah, he's feeling it a little bit. After being eliminated by the Leafs in the playoffs, he only took two weeks off. 
before hitting the ice again. He's had a brilliant year, not a great night in 16.46. How about that his time respect there. I, I like this. You know, it's been a weird night. He said he's having fun, but how about little tap with Turnbull, tap with Gilmore? The one thing Kucherov can do is, is shoot the puck. So Kale McCarr next. He's a co-leader right now. Has described his season, which is on pace for over 100 points, as pretty average. It has not been a pretty average night so far for Kale. One for one, two. What a defenseman oh, of greatness ball. off the post. The three and needs to reload here. And that last one elusive. Oh, it got a piece of it there, I thought. He yeah. looked up, he yeah, thought he yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah, I got a piece of it on that one. So it's not the amount of pucks, it's the time, too. If he's able to get it quickly, even if you're like four for six, but your timing is a lot quicker. You'd beat somebody who was four for four. So this, there's the evidence there. Yeah, you could just see a little piece of the orange styrofoam go flying off. They'll have to do a video replay of that one. Yeah, to get the right time, time. Yeah. the time posted was I'm not sure 20 46, but I think it should be better than that. It's now saying, what, 19.069? Yeah, 19.069 is the official time for McCarr with Connor McDavid up next. Won a couple of competitions. Stick handling and the fastest skater. Currently tied for third with Pedersen. I think they're just perhaps reviewing the Makar total. Looks like we're ready to go. And with McCarr stumbling, it's a chance for McDavid to take charge. Two for two, three for three. He's perfect in nine, one, five, eight. You saw that technique there. He didn't rush. Once he gets the puck, he takes a couple of extra stick handles, dusts it off, gets it into that shooting position. Look at, look, quick little hands there. Two little stick handles and then back and fires it. And there's the first four for four we've had. 9.158. That'll be tough to beat. <laughs> Wynn Hughes up next. To reach back for that, but doesn't bother. He's two for two. Got that one on the third try, and up top to finish it. 14 8 1 5 for Quinn Hughes. What pretty good rhythm he had there going early on. He just missed that third one and had to readjust. But what's that? The second best time it beats the Kucherov time. And there's the final one gets blown up. Here's Kevin. Guys on the bench with Rasmus Dahlin. I don't know how much you've been watching so far tonight, but what like I feel like you would be tailor-made for a lot of these events. There's only two defensemen competing, but I feel like you do really well. How do you think? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say, but I, I would love to be in it. And uh, it looks like uh, uh, I could I could do OK. <laughs> what about that the McDavid event? I'm calling it the McDavid event when you just have quick hands and skate through the cones and all that. You think you could catch him on that 20, 25 seconds? I don't know about that, but uh, that, that's that's my uh, cup of tea. What about your uh, shot, harder shot? It looked like I have a heavy one. Yeah, well, what did I have last year? 102.3 or something, so I would be up there, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Thank you. There's JT Miller, 13 point. 
5.87 from Miller, who moves into second place in the accuracy shooting. Yeah, that one, the, the, the third one he hit, he hit the first two, and then the, he was looking for three for three, and it just hit the post right next to the target and didn't. And that little delay, it got him to second place, but still behind the McDavid number. Three Canucks have won this event in the past. Brock Besser, Daniel Sedin, Marcus Naslin. Here's the Bruins, David Pasternak, who won in 2019. And struggling here. And the rival fans in the yeah, Atlantic Division are letting them know that it's not going well that time for Pasta 1967, which might be his way of responding to those league fans. Yeah, you know, he dug in. He, I, I got to tell you, once you miss, what, the first four, you're like, how am I going to get myself out? But he did. He dug in, got two in a row there, and just seemed to calm his shot down. I think the key sometimes is to not try to hurry it too quickly, like we saw McDavid do. Took a couple extra stick handles to get settled in. So Nathan McKinnon with seven points in the competition. Won the one-timer. A couple of points in the stick handling. Can he move up and challenge the McDavid time to beat? He was looking for. You see his body; he's kind of more square to the to the net, just trying to guide that one in there. And sometimes, when you're not firing the puck like you normally do, you, you try to get aiming a little bit. And he was a little off to the left. Oh, here's William Nylander. Kind of sitting around the bubble here, so. He could use some points. Shooting percentage of 11.7 this year. Man misses the first two. Hit three straight and finishes strong. 14 099. That moves Nylander into third place. Oh, what an effort that was as he bobbled one of the passes and. Had to get another pass from the same side. Uh, how much seconds or how much time did that take off? But once he got himself settled on that, he was able to get the last two after bobbling the one. Still a quite a respectable number. So dry settle in that bottom four at the moment. So these next two shooters are really important. They're in the bottom four with Matthews trying to hang on as well. And not a good start for Dreisaitl on this. Really struggling. It's not going to be his night. Got a piece of that one. Now he's got two. <laughs> and now your brain is just yep. on overload. How can I get these ones down? So that's how Kucherov <laughs> felt. Exactly. You know, it's these guys are so talented and such great players that this is just like unlike anything that they have to do in the course of the game. Three time 50 goal scorer yep, and it never goes to that. Even the stars can have those kind of nights. So Dreisaitl is going to finish, it looks like, outside the top eight. And Austin Matthews, the hottest shooter this year, at 20.2 his shooting percentage. He needs points to move up and continue on in this competition. Needs a top five finish here.
Needs something in the 15 second range. Uh, really key to get the first one with your first shot. It's just to settle your mind in here. There's three. One more. Nine, three, four, one. Second fastest time. And that should get him into the top eight. Yeah, just a little bit off of McDavid, but so important to get yourself into that top eight. And after missing the one, just settled right back in. Got the top left corner and then finished it off there. Nine, three, four, one, as you see. Bolts him to the one nine one five eight. Yeah, bolts him all the way to fifth overall as he garners four points.